Now, Adrian, could you share with us uh, where did you guys go, what did you do, and what happened? Yeah, so um, we pretty much, we just got a couple guys we wanted to go play basketball, and, you know, honestly, a couple of us weren't even planning on going. I wasn't really even feeling it, but something told me to, to just go. And um, when I got there, there was a couple of guys there. Uh, there was another guy. He left a little bit earlier, but um, there was uh, Asante, he, the, the one in the wheelchair, and immediately he caught my attention. And I was like, you know, I just began to see this, this cloud of love over his life. There was something there that, and I, I knew that I needed to talk to him. And it was it was Marvin that approached him first. And you know, I was in and out. Like I wanted to play basketball because I knew that's what I came for. But then I was like, no, I, I want to talk to this guy too. You know. Um, and then uh, I finally just stopped playing, and I went over. It and right away, God just began showing me this this whole guy's life. Um, I mean, from like how he ended up in a wheelchair, you know, all the disease, all, everything that was affecting his life. And uh, so when you approached him, you saw him in a wheelchair and God actually showed you what happened to him. And when you start speaking that to him, what was his reaction? Well, I, I just started um, talking to him, just getting to know him. And because Marvin was already talking to him, showing him, uh, you know, our conference with John Chi. And Marvin was the one telling him, you know, you will walk again. And I began to see that he will walk again. And I began to just prophesy into his life because, you know, I just, just Holy Spirit just told me, no, his healing is coming. And uh, I just began speaking into his life. And then um, it's, it's crazy because uh, the other guys were still playing basketball. And then one by one, they began coming over. And uh, this, the one uh, that's kneeling next to Marvin, uh, his name is Zachary. Um, right away, I just started, I just asked him a question. Um, I don't really remember because honestly it was like Holy Spirit took front seat and I took passenger and I just did whatever he wanted you know and um, I just began you know again God just revealed everything to me about his past and uh, I was I was just as shocked as he was when I was saying uh, you know and uh, it was it was crazy because I, you know, I asked him about you know there was a God gave me a word that he wanted to go to school one day and then um, you know even before he even came over and talked to me and then uh, we, we began talking, and then he was like, yeah, man, I want to go to school one day. And I was like, okay, like, this is crazy, you know. And, and just one by one, um, the other two are uh, Christopher and uh, Jacob. Um, again, God just just showed me everything. Uh, it was just the craziest thing for me. I was like, I don't even know what's going on. But, I mean, uh, I, I mean, uh, but in, in my mind, I was just like, Holy, Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way with these people. You know, these are your creations just like me. And um, it was just amazing. And then uh, at the end, you know, Marvin and I were just talking with them. And, you know, we wanted to pray for them. And then, um, you know, we asked if they wanted to give their lives to Christ. And all four of them said yes. Oh, come on, put your hands together for God. <laughs> <laughs> so for all of them received Jesus Christ last night, right? Yeah, all four. Come on, come on. Our God is good. This is what it's all about. The salvation of soul is the biggest miracle of all. Amen? Amen, amen. And uh, would you please uh, share a wo word of advice to people who they maybe want for God to use them, but how do they, what do they do? How, how do they go about it? Um, honestly, it's two things that really stood out to me before I began talking with them. It's the signs and wonders follow those who believe. And secondly, it's, you know, the whole world is waiting for the sons of God to be made manifest. That's what they're waiting for. That's what we're all yearning for. You know, when people talk about, you know, everybody has like an empty hole inside that only God can fill. That is such a true statement because that's what they're all waiting for. You know, and it's uh, at first, you know, it was just one and then it led to two. And then the other two were standing there and I just knew I was like, God, you know, I know you have something for them. And within a minute, God, you know, opened the door, you know, with a, like a certain topic and then began to speak into their life. And then all of them ended up giving their lives to Christ. Wow, this is amazing.